I would say um, definitely our team chemistry. I think it, it can get a lot better. It was good, but it can get a lot better. Um, our defense, our rebounding. Um, we got hit shots um, this year. Um, we went through a lot of games where we went through spells and not hitting shots. So I think uh, just guys getting to the gym continuously, working on that jump shot with confidence, uh, can ultimately help us out. How, how do you, you know, uh, you went through it yourself last year, changing your shot, but, you know, is that something that, that just has to happen, repetition uh, uh, yeah. for everybody? Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, I, I got up thousands of shots. Um, so I think anything I can pass on down from what I did for my shot to other guys, um, it could be beneficial. So, um, yeah, just guys just coming in constantly, getting up shots on their own, even when we do team stuff and we don't do team stuff, just, just staying in the gym, it just helps with your confidence. What's, what's yeah. different, DJ, being able to, you know, do that on <coughs> a, a few, put up a thousand shots, you know, like these guys are always in the gym and being able to do it on the floor when you guys are in the middle of like a four minute scoring job or if it's a, a tight game. I mean, you've been able to do that, but some of these younger guys have it. What's the difference between being able to do it a game time and, and doing it in the gym? Um, just, just maybe experience, um, confidence. Um, maybe if you know you took that shot a thousand times and you made it a thousand times, uh, then you, you, sh you should be able to just go out there and live with yourself uh, missing that shot or making that shot, just going out there, just, just shooting it. Um, that's the first thing. Um, but I think them young guys, they never put in a situation before. Uh, but they're, they're only going to get better with experience. A lot of them guys play some big minutes for us in big games. I think which is going to help them uh, going into the future. You mentioned team chemistry. You know, from this you know this year compared to last year, were you comfortable this year in, in your role with the team on and you know, you know on the court and in the locker room, everything like that? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I embraced my role. I okay. enjoyed it a lot. I had a lot, of, a lot of fun with those guys. Um, last year, um, I think it was kind of me more like just trying to feel for what my place was on, on the team. Um, because, you know, coming from Tim's junior year, me, I was sitting out, I was kind of like in his shadow, you know, trying to learn from him. Then when he went down, it was like, here you go. <laughs> you got to, you know, step up. Um, but, uh, yeah, this year I think I got to, got to kind of hang up. Uh, me and Tim did a good job of working hand-in-hand, -hand, um, trying to make this a fun experience for all the guys. Um, I think we did a good job for the most part. Now with him leaving, do you see your role changing at all next season or even in the off season now, prepping with these younger guys and throughout the summer and all that kind of? Uh, yeah, because um, it'll probably be more more of my voice now. Um, but, but I'm sure someone else is going to step up. Um, me, in my head, I'm thinking Brandon Teller is going to be a, a captain uh, next season. Um, he, he'll be a new captain for us um, just because he's just, he's a hard worker. Um, he's made strides tremendously since he's been here. Um, he, he's fully into what we're doing. He knows what he's doing. He can help the younger guys. Um, so I think um, he, he can help us out, help me out with the, uh, with the captain role. Um, and me and Coach is always going to be um, on the same page, um, you know, relaying messages to each other. Um, so I think I'll, I'll be fine. What's your prevailing thought coming out of this season? Because you guys had significant improvement record-wise, but I'm sure you still didn't get to where you wanted to be. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, um, I definitely didn't um, see the goals that I wanted to do team-wise, as uh, far as record-wise. Um, but, man, those games, we just got to learn from them. Um, all we can do now is just move on. We got to work harder than we did last year. That's my mindset going into this offseason. We worked harder last year, now we got to work even harder. Um, now everyone that's on the team now sees what we're going up against. And that's how much more you got to prepare, how much harder you got to work to prepare for these moments. And we won't lose, I think Coach said, nine games with within five points. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll get over that hump. You talk personally about improving your shot from last year to this season. Um, personally, if, what is the aspect of your game that you'd like to see yourself improve in the most for next year? I'm um, definitely just keep improving in my jump shot. Um, I think I shot it well, but not as well as I, I, I want to. Uh, so I just want to keep getting better at that. Um, coach told me I don't have no left hand, so <laughs> I'm going to do a lot. I'm going to do a lot of left hand stuff. Um, I think uh, coach is going to play me on a point a little bit more next year. Um, defense definitely um, can always get better. Um, just uh, just working on my skill all around. Um, just, just trying to be the best player I can be. How much do you think it helps to have that year where you got to play the point where you kind of got thrown out there, trial by fire, to kind of go into this year knowing that you know you're going to have to kind of fill that role again? But you know, having essentially two years of that kind of experience under your belt. Uh, now it's just like a piece of cake. Um, 
I've been through it already. Um, and um, probably this year coming up, I'm going to have um, maybe better guys around me that, you know, help me out. Um, not take anything away from that team, but just these young guys, they're really good. <laughs> like, they uh, surprised me in a lot of ways this year. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm ready for it. Um, I'm sure one of the young guys is going to take over the primary point guard, but just to spell some guys, give them a break, coach is going to put me on the ball. Um, which, which, which I was fine with. I did, I did a lot of that this year, too. You know, when Tim um, needed a little break from being a point guard, you know, I would take the ball. So I, I'll be fine. Have you seen Shep at all? I mean, he's kind of from your, your neck of the woods. No, but I've been hearing some good things about him. Um, he's doing a good job leading his Roman Catholic team. I'm, I'm actually excited about him coming up here because the one time he was up here, uh, he played pickup with us, and uh, he, he, he did really well. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to get him up here. I think it'll be good competition-wise, too. You guys have been going since July. Is it important for all of you to just maybe get a few days away from basketball and just kind of relax before you get back to spring conditioning and stuff? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I know for me, myself, once um, our last loss, I was just like, man, I'm, I'm, I didn't even watch uh, some of the tournament just because I was like, I'm just, I had a lot of basketball this year. I need to just relax. Um, but yeah, the coach gave us some time off. He's been smart about it. He understands that we need time off um, while, while they're still working. You know, we, we kind of get this time off to get our legs back up under us, um, to get, our, get mentally fo refocused. Um, some guys had to catch up on schoolwork because, you know, traveling and everything, missed a lot of schoolwork. Um, but uh, yeah, I think uh, that's definitely an important role. Just, yeah, just getting off your feet a little bit. Did fatigue ever play a factor on the court late in the season? Big Ten physical play. Did that ever, you know, come into play? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think we, we're in great condition. Uh, we, we do a lot of things to prepare in the summer. Um, uh, we've been playing for a while. You know, we did the foreign tour, um, then right in the preseason, Big Ten. Uh, then we did um, postseason play. So, but I think I think we was in a good place. I don't think fatigue ever played a role. And uh, how we played. Kind of random, but on Twitter I saw <clears throat> you retweet, I think it was LaSalle's Tyree Duran, about something about like game winner, like hitting a game winner. And like, do you like being in that spot? I think, like potentially hitting, I mean, you had the Ohio State shot earlier in the year. And is that a spot you like being in? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I like those situations. Um, game on the line, it's mano y mano. <laughs> You know, so I, just, I just got the confidence to take the shots uh, or make the decision. Um, even just not me taking the shot, me making the play. Um, I like those situations. It was something, you know, as, as a kid, everyone grew up remembering the Michael Jordan shot when he uh, against the Jazz, when he um, go across the dude, push him off, then pull up. It's like his last game. So uh, just just watching him do that. Uh, growing up in Philly, AI did a lot of game winners. So I just always wanted to be in that situation. You mentioned some of the younger guys surprising you this year with just the different things they were able to do. Uh, how much of a jump do you expect some of the guys, sophomores that got a lot of experience and the freshmen, to, to make next year? And how, how important will that be for the team? Oh, yeah, now we're going to uh, throw them in the fire now. We see that they can do it now. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna put a lot of, we're going to expect a lot, of, a lot of them next year. Um, so they're going to work that much harder. Um, they're not freshmen anymore. Now they got to play like juniors. We're skipping the whole sophomore season. Just skip it. They already proved that they can play in these situations, these big moments. So, you know, why hold this up back? I'm expecting those guys to be a real contribute uh, to this team. Have you given thought at all to whether you'll be here all summer or maybe try to play summer ball somewhere or do anything? Uh, right now, me and Coach are in the process of figuring out um, what I'm going to do. But no, I haven't figured out my schedule yet. Um, I know we're, we're trying to see if I'm going to get into some certain camps. Um, but uh, we haven't figured out yet. Results aside, the, the tournament or the postseason play, you know, getting the chance to do that, how, how much do you think you guys took advantage of that as far as building toward next year? Um, I think it was good, you know, to just um, get a couple more practices under our belt, um, get the young guys playing some more. Um, coach got to, you know, coach some of the young guys a little bit more. I got to play with them so I love them more. You know, kind of get a feel for uh, how it's going to be next year. Um, so I think uh, I think it was, I think it was great for us. I think it was, I was glad we did it. Did you feel a difference? I mean, behind the scenes, kind of a, a shift in a maybe looking forward more as opposed to you know kind of preparing for this season. Does that make sense? Uh, like in, in the in the preparations, did you get a, a, a sense of change at all in the in the way the preparations took place with the an emphasis? Uh, oh no, future? because you know we, we still had Tim, um, so um, we still made sure he was a part of everything, even though we were trying to you know. See, uh, 
get our young guys more playing time. Um, obviously, him more playing. I wanted to play more. Um, so we didn't do anything differently. Um, I think maybe Coach played with some of the lineups just to see how we would do. Um, but uh, for the most part, we kind of stuck to our same game plan. You see Tim sitting here talking about the motion, emotions of his career being over and that sort of thing. Have you given any thought to, wow, now I'm heading into the last year or two and it's, you know, I have one left? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, every time he talks about it, it's just like, wow, it'll be me in a couple months. Um, so it's like, but I haven't thought about it. I, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Um, right now, uh, I'm just focused on this off season. I take it one season at a time. What did Tim mean to your basketball career on the court, off the court, in the locker room? Just what did he mean being your teammate for three years? Man, he, he, he meant a whole lot. I, I can't even put it in words. Just him as a person, not even basketball-wise, just him, just Tim Frazier as a person, as a brother, as a teammate. Um, what he's been to me these last three years in this program is just incredible. Um, I hope that when I leave here, I believe the same legacy that he has um, as a basketball player, you know, just just challenging me every day. Um, you know, when I came here, um, I, didn't, I didn't know none of the guys here, but he was the first guy, like, I don't know who you is. I'm from Texas. I ain't trying to hear that Philly swag. <laughs> so he was coming right at me. And, you know, I liked it, though, because it helped us get better in the long run. Um, and we, we developed that relationship, that competitive edge for each other, um, always pushing each other, trying to get each other better. Um, so I think it definitely helped my career. You talk. You, you've been through. You were through a lot. I'm sorry. Coming out of high school and then you know, uh, transferring from a school. Uh, what has it been like to kind of find stability here? I don't want to. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Have you found it? And and how? If so, how important has that been for you? Oh uh, yeah, I, I definitely found it here. Um, stability is definitely important. You know, uh, running around, jumping from school to school, everything like that. That's uh, it's, it, it, it's a headache, really. Um, but me here uh, with these coaching staff and these and these guys. That I'm done with, man. You know, I couldn't. I couldn't be happy, and I'm glad I made the decision.